yo, yo, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Firstly, what a day. What a day for Bitcoin in tonight's video. I'm going to be breaking down a couple of concepts taken from the hybrid system to better serve you guys when you come to the charts trying to understand how to read the way price moves. Now, you will not get it right 100% of the time. But what you'll find in the charts is human nature doesn't change. Check this out. Last night, whoops, last night, Bitcoin from the open of Hong Kong decides to take a rip to the downside. It shook everyone out. Now, let's just go back to last night's video. Now, this is last night's video that I uploaded for you guys, which said Bitcoin in 10 minutes, a big week for the markets. And during this segment, we're talking about the vector candle recovery zones for Ethereum. Then we go on to Bitcoin. So listen to what it says right here. Points in the chart, ladies and gentlemen. You've got Ethereum at between $1,200 and $1,300 right there, ladies and gentlemen, where the previous pools of liquidity reside. And the same down at the between the um, $1,080 going all the way up into the um, $1,172. Now, now, let's go over to Bitcoin. Here are our vector zones in Bitcoin that we marked off last night. All right. You've got at 18, 18,669. And on top of that, you have this area right here. So from the start of this point at 19,127. These are the two next vector points in the chart for Bitcoin. All right. Now, these are the two next vector points in the chart for Bitcoin. Now, you can see in the chart. Now, this is the weekly of Bitcoin. That Bitcoin from last night ripped all the way down and took 19,127, took 18,669. These were the vector candle points in the chart. Okay? Very important zones. If we actually go into the chart itself, you can see Bitcoin took all of that range. The lowest point was 18,000. 230. All right. So they ate all of that liquidity and all they were doing was just coming back to the vector candles. Want to see it? Right there. Vector candle recovery points. What am I trying to say to you guys? Well, look, there was a trigger that led Bitcoin to making this move last night. Okay. The trigger was the dominance of the dollar. Allow me to show you. So this is one of the videos that I shared to one of the patrons. And it talks about inside the same video. And it talks about the dominance of the dollar and how we can understand how we can project the narrative of the markets. Check this out. Quite a long one. I'm going to detail about these opportunities right here. Now, the V-shaped play in principle for the new guy is simple. Drop down to come back up. That's exactly what we're looking for. Okay? But the move doesn't look like it's finished yet. Why? Because your narrative is what? The dominance of the dollar. It's still going. Vector candle recovery done. Red, ve red vector candle recovery up there done. Is there any more vectors for them? Yes, there is. That zone we've been talking about right so here in the chart of the dominance of the dollar, you can see that the next vector point for the dominance of the dollar to come into was all the way up around the 109.715. So let's round it off at the 109.700 zone. That was the next point. So when you look at the charts, ladies and gentlemen, you refer to the dominance of the dollar and you say to yourself, well, where's the strength? Is it likely to go into this point? How do I gauge? As to whether or not price is going to go as in terms of the dominance of the dollar, how can I work out what is going to happen to assets against the US dollar if the dominance of the dollar continues up? Now, in this video from last night, we were expecting that the dominance of the dollar was going to continue to roll up into this zone, which would then lead the idea of Bitcoin to go down. And there's that image. Dominance of the dollar. From last night, Tokyo and Hong Kong, they rolled price all the way up. 
Go back to that video right there, and you can see. So we had the idea that based on the strength of the dominance of the dollar, when they hit vector candles and there is strength, you expect pullbacks. But if the continuation is present and the move has got strength, you are looking for the next vector zone. And in this instance, was at that point in the dominance of the dollar, which led Bitcoin at that point coming up into that zone, led Bitcoin's descent to the downside and go even further. Coming into the UK session itself, Bitcoin then initiates a reversal, which leads us into the V-shaped play. Now you're probably wondering, what is the story right now with Bitcoin? It's now making a sharp recovery back up. Let's roll over to the dominance of the dollar to understand what's going on there. Bang, dropping down, recovering what? The vector candles that were present in the chart. Go to the 15 minute time frame and you'll see it bright as day, ladies and gentlemen. Where is it? There you go. Vector candle point right there, surgically coming back into that green vector stopping volume candle. Go down the time frames even lower and you'll see a nice green vector candle range inside of this zone. Where is it? It's on the one minute time frame, I believe it is. There we go. There she is right there, ladies and gentlemen. Smack bang inside of that green vector candle range right there. Happy days. Get your chart, get your trend line, whatever you want to use. Mark it off across the chart, married up right into price, and we still got another zone down below, ladies and gentlemen. Roll over to the chart. yippee ki -yay. There is your vector candle recovery. Now, the dominance of the dollar, be very cautious because I believe that the dominance of the dollar is being set up. There is a setup happening, ladies and gentlemen. We have got the news coming out tomorrow. And it's starting off with the ECB, President Lagarde, speaking about the euro itself, which you can see in the chart that as dominance of the dollar goes down, euro USD makes a nice recovery back up. And look, look what euro is doing. What's it doing? It's going back and recovering what? Previous vector candles in the chart. Take a look. Red vector candle recovery. Look at that. Red vector stopping volume candle recovery. And now it's pulling back ever so slightly. All right, going into the five minute time frame, and you see. Euros dropped to the downside last night. And look at all these vector candles getting recovered. It's brilliant. Happy days. Mark them off. One. Zone. Done. Happy days. Full recovery. And then you've got that vector zone up there, which is on the 15-minute time frame. Happy days. What is it that you need to understand about the recovery of vectors? The vector candle, all right, is made up of Mr. Market Maker, all right? transacting at speed, an influx of orders have come in, which is forcing price to go in one direction, creating a climatic move in the markets. Now, the retail trader can't withstand that. He, wants to, he doesn't want to miss out on the opportunity. But what comes with vector candles is the pain and the gain for the trader. You see, when a red vector candle appears, it means Mr. Market Maker is forcing price down lower. He is hitting the bids to make traders sell. And when I'm talking about selling, I'm talking about traders going short because they're missing out on the opportunity for price going lower because we've been programmed to go short when price is dropping. Well, would you buy something of value and sell it at a lower price? And would you look for it to get to a really, really cheap price before you sell it? No, the economics don't make sense, ladies and gentlemen. If you were to have that sort of mindset, you wouldn't last five minutes in business. So why on earth would you come to the game of trading with that same mindset? So when the red vector candle drops down, lower market makers trapping the retail trader to believing that price is going lower, so he's going to open his shorts. Then he consolidates and then out of nowhere, he reverses price and shifts out with a green vector candle. Why? Because Mr. Market Maker, when he's building his longs, he moves price down by trapping traders short. Okay? So you see price going down. Mr. Market Maker's getting ready to go long because he ain't going to be buying at a high price. He's buying at the lowest price. So then when you see a big green vector candle appearing, that, ladies and gentlemen, is when Mr. Market Maker comes out of the zone and hits all the liquidation points for the retail traders who jumped on the bandwagon talking about 
people going short. Running off to YouTube. Oh, Bitcoin's taking a nosedive to the downside. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Sell, sell, sell. What on earth is that? I'm talking about Euro USD right now. I could be talking about Bitcoin. I could be talking about the trade markets of oxygen. It's irrelevant. As long as there is a vector candle in the charts, it's tradable. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to keep this video going on for too long. But moving forward, you can see Bitcoin has made the move to the upside. We've got a big green vector candle and it appears that there's some resistance at the 200 EMA. We'll be going into the open of Asia later on tonight. We've still got about an hour and a half until the US markets close. Be very cautious with this range, ladies and gentlemen. They have just come back up and they've moved at speed. The dominance of the dollar has taken a nosedive to the downside and there could be a chance for it to get recovered. And this play right here could be getting set up for the FOMC on Wednesday. All right. If you are new to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, mad love and respect for passing through. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can tune in with us on Tuesday and on Wednesday, where I'll be going live for the FOMC, because I ain't going to miss out on that madness, ladies and gentlemen. 2 p.m. UK time will be the New York live stream. And then, of course, for the FOMC itself, we'll be going live at 7 p.m. on Wednesday to bring in the actual projections and the actual press conference itself for half past seven. So hopefully we're going to get a lot of volatility on the Wednesday. So make sure you subscribe, hit those notifications and what have you. You know the YouTube game and get acquainted with um, the Pattern Watchers on Wednesday. If you want to dive in a little bit more about the concepts discussed, get yourself over to the Patreon itself, ladies and gentlemen. We have a big community in there. People are always talking about what we are going to see Bitcoin doing. I mean, I'm updating in there several times. I updated last night about half past five in the morning because I couldn't sleep, and that was during the time when Bitcoin was making that move to the upside where we shared the projection of the dominance of the dollar, okay? But it's more important that you check out these masterclasses. That's where the bulk of the hybrid system resides, ladies and gentlemen. You can dive in deeper into that itself, all right? Again, guys, I'm glad that I'm back. My voice is back. I don't feel ill anymore. It's time to bring the fire. Mad love and respect, ladies and gentlemen. Take care of yourselves. Peace.